Hey there, everyone. It's Jennifer from Jennifer Biederman Jewelry. Uh, we are doing our part two of having fun with peyote. So let's have fun with peyote. Um, on the previous part one um, for this series, we did this piece right here. A simple pyramid triangle, okay, in one piece. So if you haven't, uh, if this, if you haven't watched this video, go back and find it. I, I probably will put a link so that you can see this video first, because for this tutorial, we're going to be doing this piece. So this is the next step. Uh, we just did a regular, uh, 11 O, sorry, 11 O delicas. And here we're going to be adding some crystals and I'm going to show you how to do that. So this is part two, the materials you're going to need. For this tutorial is two well, no three colors of size 11 delicas and three bicones you can either use a four millimeter or a three millimeter it doesn't matter I recommend some 11 OC beads for the bale over here and a size 10 beading needle and uh, some fire line. I'm using six pound for this project, but you can use any type of uh, beading thread, which is fine. So get your materials together and we're gonna start on part two. See you soon. Okay, so the first color I started with was uh, the 11 Odelica's purple. And now like the uh, part one, we're just gonna build on this piece. So I picked up three delicas and I just sewed around a couple of times just to make sure everything is secure. And I'm coming out of one delica here. So I'm gonna pick up the same color, color purple. I'm picking up two delicas and I'm going directly into the next one. So these are our points, the corners that we're building on right now. I'm gonna turn and I'm going to pick up two of the color purple and I'm going into the next Delica right next to it like that. Pull. You're going to need to fiddle with your beads so they sit right on top of each other like that. I'm going to pick up, this is the almost the end of the round, so I'm picking up the last two Delicas and this is my step up round. So or my step up point. So I'm just going to get rid of my tail. Coming out of this Delica, I'm going into the next Delica and up the next one. So now we have this. Now we're in position to start a new round. So I'm going to pick up two delicas because we're still working on the corner and then now once I've done this we're going to start working on our side so I'm going to change colors here and I'm going to pick up a silver delica and I'm going to go through the next one so this is our peyote part okay so I'm coming out of here skipping the bottom bead going into the top bead now I'm at a corner so I'm going to pick up two purples and just going to get rid of my tail. Go into the directly the next one. So that's my corner. Now I'm working on my side, picking up a silver, going into the upper delica right here. Doing a corner, picking up two, going through the next Delica sitting right next to it, right there. Turn. Now this is my step up part, so I'm picking up one Delica. Let me just move in so you can see what I'm doing. Now I'm skipping the bottom Delica here, sitting right here, going into the next one, and up, step up right there. So I'm going into both beads, like this. 
And then you're just going to continue around. I'm going to pick up, we're at a corner, picking up two purples, going directly into the next Delica. That's our corner. Now we're working on the side. So I'm going to pick up a silver. Skipping the bottom Delica, going into the one sticking up. Picking up a silver. Skipping this one below and going into the upper bead. Back at a corner. Going to pick up two Delica. And we're going to do this the same thing on this side until we get all the way around. I'm at a corner, picking up two. Going into the next Delica. On a side, picking up a silver, going into the next silver. Picking up a silver. This is my step up. So I'm skipping the speed here, going into the next one and up the next one. Now we're ready for a new round. Things are going to change here a little bit. Picking up two purple because it's my corner. Going into the next Delica. Picking up a silver. Skipping this lower bead, going into the next silver. Now I'm going to just change my color. Okay, and my next color is a white. So I'm picking up a white. And I'm skipping the silver, going into the next silver. Just like that. Now I'm coming out of a silver. I'm going to pick up a silver, go up my purple. Now I'm at a corner. Picking up two purple. Going through the next purple. Pull. Now I'm at a side. I'm going to pick up a silver. Go into the next silver sticking up, changing my color, picking up a white, going into the next silver. Coming out of a silver, going to pick up another silver, going up the purple. Add another corner. Pick up two Delica, the purple, go into the next one. Now again, I'm at a side, picking up a silver, going the upper silver here, changing my color right here. So I'm going to pick up a white, go into the next silver. Now I'm at my step up, so I'm going to pick up another silver. Skipping this lower bead, going into the next one, and up these two beads. Okay, starting a new round. Picking up two purples, going into the next purple. Now I'm going to continue these silvers right here, so I'm just going to pick up a silver. Now I want to see what's happening here. The silvers, I'm just going to do one row of silver going like this, and then I'm going to have a white sitting here. Okay, so I'm picking up a white. 
See? Coming out of that white, picking up another white. Coming out of my silver, picking up another silver. Now I'm back at my corner. And you're gonna repeat this, mirroring what you just did over here. So picking up two purple, picking up a silver, picking up a white, picking up a white, picking up a silver. Now I'm at another corner, so I'm going to pick up two purple. And we're going to continue that on this side. Silver. A white. A white. A silver. And now we're going to step up. So I'm skipping this lower bead here, going into the next one, up, that bead. All right, now this round things are going to change a bit because we're going to prepare our piece to fit the bicones in here. So we're picking up two purple. Oops, they don't want to sit next to each other. You gotta play with them so they sit where they need to be. Pick up a silver. Pick up a white now. What you're gonna do is go, you're picking up a white. You're gonna go into this white, this white, and this white, and you're coming out here. So go down these two. Up this white. Pick up a white. Go into the next silver. Pick up a silver. Go into the next purple. Now, you're going to repeat these, this step here all the way around, then you're going to step up, and then we're going to come back. So I've gone all the way around and I've stepped up. Now we're starting a new round and we're going to start adding our bicones. So here I'm at a corner, I'm going to pick up two purple as usual. I'm going to continue this line of silver, so I'm picking up a silver. Picking up a white to continue the line of my white. Now I'm going to pick up a bicone. Now I'm using a three millimeter bicone, but you can definitely use a four millimeter. Okay, so now I'm coming out of this bead right here. I'm going to go right across and go into this bead so that my bicone fits right in there. Now I'm going to continue my line of white, picking up a white, going into the silver. Picking up a silver, going into my purple. So you're going to continue the step all the way around. Then you are going to step up and then I'll show you what to do next. All right, so I added all my bicones and now I'm coming out and I've stepped up out of one of my purples here. Now to count, uh, to make this work, um, again, you can do it any size you want, but then you'll have to adjust your beads over here. But if uh, you're doing what, exactly what I'm doing, see the three uh, delicas right in the middle? I'm just gonna cover that one 
and then I'm going to count from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I did eight herringbone stitches here. So now what I'll do is I'm going to pick up a different color Delica and I'm going to go into that next purple. Now you can pick up any color you want. You can pick up a larger bead if you want, just to have it more of an accent. Your decision. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to change things because now we need to mirror exactly what's happening on the on this side. So I'm going to pick up a purple. So this is the start of my new round. Okay, so purple going into the next silver. Coming out of the silver because I need to mirror this part. So I'm going picking up silver going into my white. Coming out of a white, I'm going to pick up a white, go directly through the bicone, pick up a white, go into the next white, Coming out of a white, I'm going to pick up a silver. Because now my silvers are sitting like this. I have that one here and two here, and the silver is going to come up this way. Now I'm right here. I'm not adding a silver. I'm going to be adding a purple. Going up and then picking up an accent bead for the corner. So just one bead this time, going through the next Delica. Picking up a purple, going through that silver. So you're gonna repeat exactly what you did here to this corner. Then I'm gonna stop just shy over here so we can do our step up together. So I'll be back. All right, so now that I've stepped up, I'm at a corner. Okay, I'm not going to pick up two this time. I'm only going to pick up an accent bead. Now, this accent bead can be anything that you choose. I'm just going to pick up a, an 11, size 11 Delica silver. But you can pick up maybe a size 10 Delica or a 3 millimeter bicone, whatever you want. But I'm picking up a Delica. So instead of picking up two, I'm just picking up one and I'm going right through. So now I have this one sitting there. Now, I'm going to pick up here a silver. I am going to pick up a white. And then the next step is to pick up a white. And I'm going to go through the bicone. I will pick up a white Delica and I'm going through the next one. Pick up a white, go into the next silver, pick up a silver, go into the next upper, that purple Delica. And I'm going to pick up my accent bead for the corner, which is my silver, so just one for the corner. And I'm going to repeat that by here and here, and I'm going to meet you back at the step up. Okay, be right back. All right, whoops. Okay, so my step up here is basically I'm picking up now. I just added my last white on the side, the last uh, side here. I did them all the way around. I'm picking up a silver, and this is really my step up here. I'm going up that purple and that accent bead right next to it. Now we're starting a new round. So now at this point, I need to mirror exactly what's happening here. Okay, so instead of picking up a silver, I'm picking up a purple. So I'm going to be mirroring what's happening here. I'm going down the silver. And I've got a knot. So 
Sorry, I had a little knot I had to work out. Okay, so I've picked up a purple. I'm coming out of the silver. Now I'm mirroring the silver here, so I need to mirror it going this way. So I'm picking up a silver, going into the next white. Now, what I have here, I'm coming out. Let me move it. So I want to explain this so that all of you understand. I'm coming out of this white here. Okay, and uh, what I want to do, because I put these two on here, I'm just going to pick up a white and I'm going directly through the three beads here. So I have my white Delica, the purple, and the Delica. So I have this, and I'm going to do that on this side. Picking up a white, going over into the next white. And now I'm going to mirror my silver here. So I'm picking up a silver going into the next silver. Now here I need to mirror my purples. So I'm going to pick up a purple, go up that uh, end bead there that I put, the corner bead, pick that up, pick up another purple going down that silver. Pick up a silver, go through the white. Pick up a white, go through all the white, the bicone and the next white. Pick up a white, go through the next white. Pick up a silver, going into the next silver. And here, again, at a corner, picking up a purple, going into the upper one accent bead I put there, going down, picking up a purple. So I am going to continue this as I did over here and as I did here, and I'm going to meet you back here. So I've just completed the side. Now we're going to do our step up, okay? Now, here I have... This was my new round going here. I started here and going around. Now I'm ending the round. So here I'm going to pick up a purple because I have that purple sticking up there and I have them both on all the sides. So I'm just going to go up through that accent bead. My thread continuously is knotting up. I think I need to condition this. And of course, this only happens on camera. Okay, now I'm up this bead. So here is my step up. I'm turning around and my step up, I'm not picking up a bead here. I'm just gonna go through the next bead. So my step up was this bead and then this bead. So the purples, what they're gonna be doing is they're gonna start to push in like this. So the next step is to pick up a purple. The next bead, because we're mirroring, is a silver. Now, here is the part where we need to add beads across the bicone. So how I count it, I'm coming out of this bead going down this one, not counting this one. I'm going to count here. One, two, three, four, five. Picking up five white delicas. We can pick them up here. Hold on a second. So I have five white delicas. I'm skipping over everything and I'm going into the upper white delica pull so now we're mirroring what's happening here and this is going to fold in so your bicone is going to stick out the side let's just stick that out there now i'm coming out of this white i need to mirror what's happening with the silvers so i'm picking up a silver going into the silver now i'm finished with my silvers and I need to mirror the purples. So now I'm gonna pick up a purple. 
instead of I'm so I'm going into the next upper purple I'm not going into this um, accent beat I'm just gonna pull like this turning my work now I'm coming out of this purple I'm gonna scoot right across and go into the next purple This is going to start to cinch together. It's not going to do it right now. Okay, so don't try and yank and pull because it's not going to happen. So repeat exactly what you did over here. Repeat it over here. And then when you come here, you're picking up a purple, going into the purple, scooch over here. And then you are going to um, continue. So over here, you're picking up a purple. Actually, let me stay with you. Okay. Because right now, I have two purples here. I have one sitting here, so I'm going through the next silver. So actually, this part, you're going to mirror over here, and you're doing it over here. And I'm going to meet you at the step up, okay? We're going to do each round together, and I'll be right back. All right, so I've done the other sides. Now we're almost at our step up. So I'm coming out of this silver. I don't need to add another one because we only have one line of silver. So I'm going to pick up a purple. And I'm going up the next purple. I'm going, because now we're getting ready to start a new round. So now I'm going through that upper bead. And then here is my step up. I'm going down these two purple beads so new round picking up a purple going through the silver picking up a silver now I am skipping the lower bead okay picking up a silver and then I'm gonna go up through all five beads to the other end just like that. So you have this. Now I'm picking up a silver, going into the next silver. I can get there. Next silver. Now I need to mirror the purple. So now I'm going up, I'm picking up a purple. And I'm going up a purple. I'm going to turn my work and I'm coming out of this purple bead here. So I need to go into the purple right across. And all this is going to get cinched up. Coming out of a purple, I'm going to pick up a purple, and I'm going into the next silver. And you're going to repeat what just happened over here, here, and here, and I'll meet you back at the step up. Okay, so I'm getting close to my step up. I've just come out of the silver, picked up a silver, coming out of a silver, picking up a purple, going up that purple. And now I'm just going to turn to the other side. And I'm coming out of this bead. I'm going into the bead right across. And then I'm doing my step up. Very important to do your step up. That's why I'm doing it step by step. Okay? Because if you don't, it's going to start to look all weird. Okay? So now that I've added purple here, and I've done my step up. Now we're doing a new round. So I'm picking up a purple. Going through the silver. Okay, so coming out of that silver, I'm picking up a silver. Now, so you see what I'm doing? Coming out of the silver, I'm skipping this speed, and I'm going through the next speed. That looks like it's sticking up, so I'm going through 
two beads. Okay, coming out of this white, I'm going to pick up a silver and I'm going into the next silver. See? Now I'm coming out of a silver, I'm picking up a purple. Going up this purple, turning going into the opposite purple bead on the other side. And now I'm picking up another purple into the silver. So I'm going to repeat this all the way around. Now at this point, this is starting to get small here. Okay, so you have to decide if you're putting the cellophane in there or you're just going to pop a pearl. I'm popping a pearl in there. Okay, and the pearl should be sitting just like this, no larger. Because then it's going to be hard to go around. So I'm going to pop that in later because it'll fit in later. Uh, but if you're putting cellophane, ball it up, pop it in the middle, and if it doesn't fit, just cut around and just get it in there. It doesn't need to get into the corners. It just needs to make sure that this is sitting upward and that it doesn't collapse, okay? So you're going to repeat that on the other two sides, and I'll meet you back at the step up. So I've popped my little pearl in there, and now I'm getting to my step up. So really, you're doing this until you run out of beads, until you run out of room, until you have the three that are left. So here I'm coming out of the silver. I'm picking up a purple going up that purple and this is my step up right here so I'm going in that bead right across and then step up and as you're adding beads let's go down this side okay so I'm coming out of that purple picking up a purple going into the silver okay coming out of that silver I'm gonna pick up a silver now I'm coming out of this silver I'm skipping this bead because it's peyote and I'm going into the next one I can get in there If I can get in there. Oof, it's tight here. Okay. Now I'm going to go into this one. Now watch what happens. Going into this one. Oops, and I picked up two beads. Oops. Now, when I put this one here, I really, I need to get up into that silver one. Why? Because look, and it looks like a step up. I'm getting really, really close here, but I'm coming out of this bead here. I can't add another one. I need to go up into this one. So that does look like a step up actually and you're going to do that all the way around then you're going to be putting your last silver here it's it, so just keep going until like i said you have those three last beads left and it's just going to close everything up okay so repeat that and we'll come back all right, so I'm done closing up my piece. I just added the beads until I had nothing left, and I went and I reinforced the last three beads. And then I moved my way up to a corner. Okay, so I'm coming out of this um, 
accent bead right on the top. Now I had a comment on one on the uh, part one video that the 11s looked, um, you know, when you do your bail, I was saying to put some 11s, but you know what? She's right. Uh, it looks a little bit large. So we're going to go down to a 15. So I'm going to pick up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, fifteenths. And I will just sew right through. Yeah, that looks better. That looks much better than that one. So that's why I say leave comments. You know, I'm not perfect. And sometimes someone else's eye will see something different than mine. And she's right. So I'll probably cut that other bail off and put some 15s. So what we're doing is just reinforcing um, so this is part two of having fun with peyote shapes and having fun with peyote in general because peyote doesn't have to be boring. And that's it. So I'm going to go down these three beads and it's getting pretty tight so I don't think I can get down them again. But if you can, I would reinforce, reinforce. Yeah, getting tight. So now that it's a little tight, then what you want to do just to cut your thread off is I'll just go down a couple of beads. I already rent through that bale a few times, so I'm not worried that's going to come loose. And this piece is pretty tight, so because I have no patience, and I know that this isn't going anywhere, and for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to go ahead and cut that off. However, if you want to really make sure your thread is sitting and not going to come undone, you just go up and down beads a few times, and then you cut it off. Okay. So let's look at our pieces. This piece here, I put a pearl. This piece, I put cellophane. And you know what? Because of the small piece, I think I prefer the cellophane for me. Uh, and this piece is just slightly smaller. Anyway, so you learned how to put the bicones in. And uh, the next video, we're going to learn how to do the square. And we're going to be putting bicones and we're going to be changing colors and they're going to be different size beads. So that's going to be a step up of what we're doing. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. They're these pieces are so fun to make and they're really, really fast and they don't use a lot of beads. And you can really have fun with the different colors. Um, so if you like this video, thumbs up would be fantastic. And if you think someone else might like it, you can go ahead and share the video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe because I always come up with some new tutorials uh, that I think you might enjoy. If you're interested in a closed Facebook uh, sorry, a closed Facebook page, I started a page where almost I think we're almost at 9,000 members. It's called Beading Tips and Tutorial. I'm the only admin uh, uh, for that group. And uh, so I try my best to monitor everything. But listen, it's a great group. We share our, our work and it's a lot of inspiration. You know, when you're stuck and you don't know what to do and you see somebody's creation, it kind of makes you kind of go and run, get your beads and start something. So um, I will see you at the, the part three video, which will be the square. And then we're going to move on from there because I'm getting into this peyote thing um the peyote small pieces so thank you thank you for watching and if you have any suggestions or anything leave me comments because if you like i said if you see something that can be improved um you know what i'm all for that we all learn every day we learn something new every day so thanks for watching i'll see you back at the next tutorial thanks bye